if you can hear me clap once, if you can hear me clap twice, if you can hear me clap three times, well, simple action. An action. Two simple words. How can you actually use these two simple words and create something useful and something that brings impact to the society through intergenerational partnership with what you believe in and make the society a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nicholas Oi. I was born in this little small town called Taiping in Malaysia. So um, when I was young, if you realize this, any one of you seen this before, please clap your hand. Okay, it's pretty much an Asian thing. Um, so you just step on it when um, there's an arrow coming out from the TV. So uh, on the left and the right, okay, um, this thing changes my life towards how I um, get my interest towards dancing. Every weekend, so I have good time with my grandparents because um, when I do this with my grandparents, they love to, to step on this. I, I don't know why, but just um, they teach me how to do simple dance move. And I believe simple dance move can actually create a snowball effect, create a butterfly effect that makes more people who want to dance do it together. Now, I was a member of ISAC in year 2005, ages ago. So as you can see, I was the one in the middle. Um, I'm doing, you know, have you ever heard Cotton Eye Joe before? Clap your hand, please. Excuse me. Uh, Google it, anyway. Now, um, <laughs> some people who doesn't know how to dance behind, they will just follow you because they set you as a leader in front. So people just stand to like, oh, Nick is cool. Nick is Mr. Hong Kong. I want to follow him. <laughs> so I just do something with him. Um, this is how you actually create a snowball effect and make people follow your dance move. And it inspired me something. I can make a difference in the society. And then, when I love dancing, I just go all around the world. I dance in um, Europe. So I take a video. I do something special. So you just travel so many places. Sometimes, um, when you spend all your money, you just need to get a job. So I actually got my job in Hong Kong in year 2010. Uh, when I first came to Hong Kong, I met this group of elderly in the plaza called Wing On Plaza. This group of elderly are actually doing some kind of martial arts called Tai Chi. You know it before, right? You, I think you've seen it. Tai Chi is actually helping them to be mentally healthy because it creates some kinds of um, endorphins in their body. And then it makes them physically healthy because oftentimes they do move every morning at 7 and 8. If you students never seen them before, wake up at 7 in the morning and go see them doing this. If you tell them you want to join them, they are happy too. Because I met this group of people and I tell them, in exchange I do Tai Chi with you, I teach you how to do hip hop. <laughs> and of course, um, they say, I, I, I can't put my head on the floor and things like that. Um, so I create something really simple, something as simple as clapping hand. Any of you heard chicken dance before? Exactly, now you're chicken. Okay, um, so I actually do a simple dance with every one of them, with the elderly. As you know, why I'm tempting to work with elderly, first thing, because I work with my grandfather a lot. So my grandfather actually inspired me to create a mutual understanding with elderly. And also, the world population, we are in the stage where the elder population is getting increased, slowly increased. Now in Hong Kong, um, this is Yong Yong on the left, and on the right is Peggy. Yong Yong is one of the 15% of the population in Hong Kong who achieve uh, more than 65 years old, she's currently 80s, and Peggy is, will be one of the 32% in 2041. That means if within three people, one of them will be elderly. So we need to tackle on this issue. Why? Because government is putting a lot of welfare, a lot of money into health issue. So, you know, when people get old, you tend to have non-communicable disease, you, need, you tend to have uh, heart disease and stuff like that if you're not getting yourself healthy. So I create a project 
simple project that can influence the society through intergenerational partnership and also to make them have an awareness of health. I call them TAC. T stands for thing, where we actually have knowledge transfer. We want to transfer knowledge of um, the importance of health and also the importance of younger people working with older people. Why am I so tempting talking on younger people and older people? What younger people has is they have time and energy. What elder people has is that they have experience. With both entities, when they link up together, it creates a competency and confidence of them, and they work together to bring a better tomorrow. Now, in order to create a snowball effect, the final part is where we do contribution, where the younger people work with the older people. Both of them learn with each other. Yes, it's William. <laughs> and the project tag easily link up to three aspects of health, where think, mentally healthy, act, physically healthy, contribution, socially healthy, because we are making networks within each other. A simple clap like just now, a chicken dance. It makes you look at people beside you like, ah, oh, okay, she's clapping like a chicken. Okay? But tech is not all about talking and theory. We need to make more people to know the effect in the society. That is why we created the health leaders. The health leaders come from three different groups of people, elderly, youth, and adult. Now, with me keep talking in front, I would like you to do a simple um, dancing with me in a while. Before that, I would like to tell you a little story about Grace. Grace is one of the uh, members of Health Leaders. She actually has depression. After she joined Tech, she wrote me this. Frankly speaking, I feel so positive after joining Tech because it allows me to live happily. When we dance, we tend to forget about unhappy stuff. How do we forget about unhappy stuff? Can I have everyone just stand up now? Please. Thank you. Uh, health leaders. Health leaders. So I'm just going to do a simple move called a zombie dance. Okay? You know zombie, right? You get into your head and then you start to be like, uh. Okay. So I just have a simple move now. We're going to clap on. I, whatever I do, you just follow. Okay? Now, clap. Clap. Clap, move. <laughs> and then clap, 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 move. OK, now I'm just going to add in the music and make it more interesting. OK, zombie hand. Five, six, seven, now. You are good. OK, hit it, hit it. Now, hand, hands, drop, and... Okay, get a be zombie. Now, zombie, zombie, zombie. Wow! Your turn. One more time. Hit it, hit it. Okay, yes, and... Hands, hands, uh, I'm zombie. One, two, three, four. Para para pa 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 para 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 pa pa pa. How about this side? Okay, I need louder, louder. One more time, everyone. One more time. Pa 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 pa. Okay. It's kind of dry. Gosh. Okay. Through, through just now, when you do the move, I invented four steps to, to actually create this action. How to create this action? First, you acknowledge it. Okay, Nick is teaching us to do this, right? We acknowledge it. Second, you begin to discover ah, oh, the move is like that. Okay? And the move is like that. And thirdly, you begin to practice. Finally, you do it, and then you spread it to a lot of people. Come back to this process again. First time, 
you shout. Wow, okay, I'm scared of you, we are strangers. Second time you, scared, you shout, ah, hello. <laughs> you started to make friends. Third time you shout, ah, how are you? <laughs> okay, and fourth time you shout, I, fine. So this is how the, the, whole, the, the whole process comes together. Now, um, with popular demand, we were working with the police force to create something else than health. We were creating an anti-crime movement. We do dances to do anti-crime, like Jackie Chan. So um, it's easy. Tech not necessarily need you to put in your health, but your interest. Whatever you are interested to doing it first, you think of it, you take action, you contribute it to more people. Elderly, elderly, they are a group of people who are getting sl slowly increased. It's not that elderly, they are getting more and more elderly because you and me, we are aging today. And in 2041, you and me will become elderly. So we, will, we better start doing tech now. Otherwise, you'll be unhealthy. Um, last but not least, what I want to sum up is an action with two different generations, with two different age groups of people, with three aspects. Think, act, contribute, and taking the four process, acknowledge, discover, practice, finally, do it. Thank you very much.